Hey guys, so glad to have you back for this section. Uh, the last section we talked about devotions and I told you how that was difficult for me is just taking a break and spending time with God and his word. Well, I want to build on that a little bit in this section on prayer. Uh, prayer is a really important part of life. And for doing that, I, I'd like to invite a, one of my friends up here, uh, Scott Austin. Some of you guys know him because he helps out Wednesday nights. He's busy with kids on Sunday morning. But Scott, thanks for joining me today. Come on Absolutely. up here. We'll, we'll move this over this way. Right. And uh, we want to talk about prayer. Uh, many of our prayer lives are kind of everywhere. I encourage you guys to pray in the youth room uh, regularly to either open us in prayer or close us in prayer. And uh, what I've told you guys quite often is, yeah, we, we need to go to God with uh, a form of reverence, a way to talk to Him, but we also just need to be able to communicate with Him, to have a conversation with God. And I invited Scott because uh, Scott enjoys praying. He does a lot with our kids, and uh, we've had some conversations about prayer. So, Scott, why don't you free us up here a little bit? Why, why is prayer important? Well, Matt, um, you know, prayer is why we talk to God. It's how we talk to God. Um, and, uh, you know, growing up, uh, I grew up in a, a family that was in the church, and, you know, I, I prayed all the time. Um, but to be quite honest with you, I didn't really think about what we were doing. Um, it was a checkbox for me. Uh, you pray before meals. Uh, you pray uh, when you're in church. Um, you know, you, you're supposed to get up and do your devotional and pray to God. Um, and, and I knew why we were supposed to be doing it, but many times, um, again, it was just something that I was told to do. I did it, but I didn't really have that relationship of talking uh, with God, and actually, you know, I was saying words that I heard other people in the church say, uh, trying to sound um, religious or, or, or scriptural when I was talking, and, and I really didn't take on that persona of, I'm just talking to God. I'm having a relationship with my Savior. Um, and so that's uh, some of what I grew up in in, in in prayer. Yeah, prayer could be different for each and every one of us. But a lot of times we, we turn to God in prayer when things either aren't going our way. Maybe mm -hmm. we, we need something. We're, we're hoping, you know, God, please let this, this, you know, this girl like me, or this, if you're a girl, this boy like me. We, we look at these things, and like we, we ask God for things like he's a genie. And, and that's not what prayer is. We should be going to God in prayer and, first of all, praising him for the great things he's given us, worshiping him for the wonderful God that he is. And, yeah, we should lay our needs at his feet. We should talk to him, but it's, it's not like a, like a genie. We don't, we don't just pray and magically God gives it to us. Um, Scott, what are some other aspects of prayer that, that you see that are uh, of utmost importance? Well, it's okay to pray for our own needs. In fact, you know, God wants to hear those things. He, wants to, he knows what all our needs are, but He wants us to hear uh, us talk to Him about those needs. But outside of that, um, we also need to think about others when we pray. Uh, we need to think about our friends, um, you know, those in our church, uh, those in our school, um, those that are in our neighborhoods, uh, our family and friends and things that are going on in their lives. Um, you know, we, we need, when I pray, um, I try to talk about those things first. Um, and that way, you know, I'm, I'm sharing with God like, hey, you know, you know that I have needs, but, you know, I'm really wanting you to also um, think about and, and help those uh, who are also in need outside of my own needs. So, um, you know, one way to do that, uh, I think, is to go through the Psalms. Um, and so uh, I know that, that our book talks about uh, several Psalms, um, Psalm 29, Psalm 46, and Psalm 100 uh, that are good uh, uh, chapters of the Psalms to use when we pray. Um, so uh, do you want to discuss about uh, how we're going to go through um, and uh, to kind of personalize our prayers? Well, we'll give a little bit on that. But what I want you to do is, is make sure as you do this, and, and Scott's right, praying through the Psalms is such a, a great way to do it. A lot of the psalmists wrote these as worship words or even prayers to God. And so I, I really want you guys to go through that in your devotion book with your parents and pick one of those Psalms that, that Scott mission, mentioned. Um, you've got Psalm 100, which the example's right there in your book. He also gives you Psalm 29 and 46 as great starting points. You'll find a, a rhythm in the Psalms of, of things that you can go to God and, and either in prayer to Him and praise to Him and, and talk to God. Um, I, I want you to take those and then, then talk to God and, and read it in your own words. That's one of the best things I can tell you. And we use the Psalms as an example. You could do this throughout Scripture. 
take these things and, and read them, especially when you'll see a lot of times they'll, they'll turn it in a prayer to God. You know, we look at the Psalms, we've talked a lot about the Old Testament, even in the New Testament. Go to the epistles, a lot of Paul's letters, he written out prayers to God. Read through there and see what, what, what Paul or even the psalmist are going to God for, and then rewrite that in your own words. Uh, we've done this a few times up in uh, the student room, and, and just as you rewrite them, put those down in your own words and realize that what, what you're praying to, to God for. And then remember that. I, I keep a prayer journal, guys, and I encourage you to do this. Um, keep a prayer journal of what you've, you've done. Sometimes it's funny and interesting. I do this with our young adults. I'd even record you guys' as prayers when you ask me. Each and every week, I'll write down prayer requests that were brought up. And I like to flip through those regularly because I can flip back and go, man, I, I didn't even realize God answered this prayer, but look, look what he did. Look how God, maybe I didn't realize it in the time and the situation, but man, God really came through here. And, and it's good to keep those journals to see how God continually answers those prayers for us. So Scott, thank you for joining us today. And I often do this to the youth. I'm going to put Scott on the spot too and have him close us in prayer. And uh, just like you guys, it's great to, to be in prayer personally. But also here, as you're spending time with your family and, and you're having this devotion time, take turns praying as well. That way you, you get experience. And Scott, if you could, Ben, just close us in prayer here as we, we end this. Before you guys go, Scott's going to go ahead and close us in prayer. So go ahead, Scott. Absolutely. Lord, thank you for allowing us to be able to pray to you, to come to you and, and just have that reverence of talking with you um, and to have that relationship. Lord, I ask that each and every uh, youth, everyone who is watching this uh, today will be able to think through uh, these challenges uh, to, to look at um, the Psalms and use them uh, as a means to be able to draw closer to having a relationship with you and to be able to, to talk to you um, on that level. And so, Lord, uh, be with all of us um, and, and help these devotions to to draw all of these youth closer to you. For it's in your name we pray. Amen. Amen.